Welcome back everybody. I'm here with some more Digimon Real Rise. Uh, today I got a PvE tier list. Um, this list is going to mostly consist for Clash Battle. Uh, I think Underworld is its own thing. Um, by now most people should be able to kind of get through it with all the strong Digimons that have come out. But when the future floors come out, I'll do a guides on those on what are good teams. But this is going to kind of be mostly uh, good for Clash Battle. Um, Clash Battle usually going against one, so AOE Digimons are not that good, uh, depending. Um, the tiers, S rank is going to be obviously the best Digimons that offer the best they got in their field. Um, A rank is... You know, just really good. Um, they just do something that just surpassed common like Digimon, or offer something that's really good support for their team. B rank's not a bad rank to be at. It just has a um, they're interchangeable, um, not the best to use sometimes. However, there are some Digimon's that could be B rank, but they'll do really good later on. I'll give an example about that. Uh, C rank is like not very used or shouldn't really use it. Uh, D rank is like really bad. So let's start with Ebbetmon. Just don't use Ebbetmon. Not good. Don't try to level him up unless you guys get too many copies and get an S10 or level 10. I mean, um, we got Hyandro. I want to put Hyandro up here because this is a good example. Um, he puts up defense that can make you last long, like within the battle, and they give a lot of survivability. But to me, I prefer having full DPS a lot of the times. There are a few occasions where having high Andro kind of does help, but you can do well without that defense. Sometimes you want something stronger, so that's why I'm gonna put him in B rank. Um, he's good support though. A lot of B is gonna be a lot of support, I think. Uh, Pinocchio Mon, uh, not very good. Um, Def Digimon are not big deal in Clash Battles. They're big deal in PvP only because of their speed. Uh, Pinocchio and uh, Pinocchio Mon sleeps makes your opponent sleep. A lot of um, Clash Battles they don't are they're not susceptible to like skill lock sleep and all that. So he's pretty bad. As much as I've been saying good things about Poopmon, yeah, it's not good. It doesn't do much damage. What you mostly want for Clash Battle is as much DPS as you can and survivability so yeah that's why I Andrew you can argue that it could be a rank but I'm gonna put him there my mommy mod is bad um, I'm gonna put him a rank just because also brave has a lot of synergy in this like for clash battle teams not only that it gives crit just two hits and it has his plugins that also do critting and has HP so I'm gonna put him there uh, Minerva Mon's kind of fragile but because it lowers defense, I want to put it in A rank. It's pretty good. Um, it would have good synergy with Calm too. Edamon sucks. Um, we're gonna put him here. Uh, just he does strong one hit, so I'm gonna add him there. Um, let's see this one. If you guys don't have defense, I guess this helps. But I want to put him here. But I'm gonna put him here just because he offers some defenses. I would prefer using Hyandro or Mamemon over Siege, Metal Seedromon, so there's that. Uh, don't be using Ravemon. Um, yeah, he's not so good for there. Uh, this one either, Rosemon's not good. Most healers I will put in B rank just for support. It's not like they're like super crazy, you know. Uh, I'm going to put him in B rank just because there are better options. And his sub skill, he does damage to three Digimon. But definitely, if you don't have stuff like War Greymon, he's not a bad supplement. This War Greymon, I want to put him S rank. I really do, because like he does a lot of damage. But that's all he does. He's he's meant for Clash Battle, so definitely good pickup. Um, if you guys don't have it, it's a good Digimon to have. Obviously, if there's Omega Mon, if you guys don't have Omega Mon, summon on that banner first. The this step up banner for him is gonna be there for a while. It has been there for a while, so definitely Omega Mon's better. But he's gonna be like right up there, you know, just not S rank just because he doesn't offer stuff to other Digimon or does something crazy, you know. Uh, this one, I'm gonna put him here. His cooldown thing is really good. I always think that's really good for 
uh, clash battles and good synergy with all these calm. Um, this one, as much as I like them for PvP, uh, he's not that good for PvE. He does, like, again, you don't want AoE Digimons. So, this one, I know I could do damage, but it doesn't have that much HP, even with its plugin. So, I'm just going to put him there. Uh, this one, you know what, I, I don't want to put him A rank because I don't like counters. You generally, you don't want to have counters in your team because it takes like time so uh, let me explain about that um when you counter like let's say you're running down like a few seconds and he has a high chance of counter so he will counter and it takes away the chance of activating a move that was going to potentially do more damage or you know yeah that's just, that's just how i feel it takes away from the timer and you could be using it to activate moves if you have like something like him and he could reset the moves. I would rather reset the moves than him getting more attacks, you know? Um, Piedmons. I'm going to put both of them here. Just because I know they do damage. But they're not... I don't think they're a big deal. He's very selfish, Digimon. That too. So maybe if you revolve a team around him doing damage. But I'm pretty sure you could get other Digimons. They're, they're very good, I guess. If you're going against something that has power resistance. Um... In that case, is these Digimons like him? He won't do that well, but I guess a calm team or a tech uh, def team will be good. Plus, Eomon, he's just an average healer. I'm gonna put him there. Uh, it's not a big wow. Prevents sleep against a Fonimon clash. He's pretty good, but that's it. Uh, Sukuyomon, he's pretty weak. Honestly, okay, raids like the Lithmon that's gonna come out and raids like the Alphamon. Uh, easily S rank, but uh, it's only situational, only because it prevents skill lock, and that's huge. You know, you get skill locked very early, you basically did no damage to against your opponent, so that's why that this is really good. But overall, in general, it doesn't do much damage, it doesn't have high survivability, so that's why I'm putting it there. Um, Let's just say here, I'm going to put this one here. I know it revives. For free, it's good, so I guess it gets support. But, you know, I'm not putting it there because it just does that. It's just revive. I guess it powers up your Digimons. It gives 30%, but it doesn't do much. So it's just there. Uh, Grand Quagga, good defense, passive. Uh, Tyranno could do some damage, but not just single targets tend to be better. Um... I want to put him here, that he is good, but, you know, I haven't tested him out myself, but if he does double attack, you know, double damage, that's pretty good, you know, when he crits, I think it, that's what he does. Uh, for example, this one, I'm not going to put up there, just because other Digimons have better synergy right now, um, just one attack, and then I think his sub skill does to multiple. I'm, I forgot to mention, I think. I'm not adding any um, ult ultimates in this list. I know these are here, but there's going to be no ultimates. I'm not going to, I'm just going to be megas. I'll do a separate video saying like the list of good Digimons that are ultimates and what can they replace and what can they do for maybe later on. Um, let's see, this guy, he he takes away resistance. So for free, he's pretty good. He can offer some, some support You can lower your opponent's tech resistance, lower their power. So, there's that. Um, but like I said, it's you want more of those single targets, high hitting damage. So, that's why he's not like higher. This one. Uh, he doesn't heal itself. So, if you're in a predicament where like your opponent hits it, like it's random. So, if it keeps getting hurt, it's not going to be able to heal itself. So, that's the only reason I personally don't give it A rank. But, when it heals only two, like... Magna Angelmon, that's pretty good because it, you know, it could heal itself and it could survive and by the time it reloads again, it could heal another two. But since it doesn't heal itself, uh, this all is a good support for, I guess, death, but there's no, like, strong death. Like, this is going to be the strongest heart, one of the strongest hitting ones. Besides him, you know what, I'm going to put him here. Only because when he does crit, he does huge damage. So if you set up crit with him, it's pretty good. That's the only reason I'm putting him S rank right now. Um, better, yeah, he's pretty good for clash battle. Um, 
This one, even though it does single target, he's not a very good Digimon. Uh, I wouldn't pick him up if I were you. But if you guys did, uh, if you guys find a way to use him, good. But I don't really like him. Not a lot of synergy. Um, it's supposed to have more survivability. But nah. Uh, even this one, I would put it here. But I'm not putting it here just because I know it does high damage. So you could give it something like evasion or increases HP with even like War Graumon if you guys want to use War Graumon. Or like evasion like I said. Um, and it'll do some damage. You know, it's poison is really strong too. But because it's fragile, I can't put it higher. Um, him easily, he's like guarantees how much damage it's going to do. So he's up there. Um, if you have Bielzo, it's a good level 10. I'm not sure how good it is in the meta right now, but still, like, I think when I go against it, it's a little annoying if it pulls off its, like, skill. Um, Seraphimon is not so good. Um, not in Clash Battle. This one's very selfish, but because it's selfish and it might do a little bit more damage, it's not D-Rank. But I don't like it. Um, who knows, maybe he's, Barbamon's better than this guy. But I'm just gonna put Barbamon there. I, I don't like him. Um, he tanks. If you guys need a tank, yeah, definitely he could be a little bit higher here. But he doesn't do much damage. Like I said, for Clash Battles, it always goes back to damage. Um, it can increase your survivability, this one. Uh, block and, you know, nullify statuses. So it's pretty good. It's a little bit HP. You can't really count on the HP. You have to have counters. But, you know, that little HP can, you know, mean that you, your move reloads. So it's not so bad. Ofanimon, uh, I'm such a big like Ofanimon like fanboy, like it's pretty good, but I'm not gonna give it S rank. I'm just gonna put it here. Um, it takes away statuses. It does one big hit. It lowers your opponent's defense. Very good support Digimon. Um, not all the times is good. It could fall hard. You do for I feel like for Devoted, you have to get lucky and pull the defense plugins with HP, and that increases the survivability, but. Gankomon, A rank easily. I don't want to put him S rank, but he ignores block. He does one hard hit. He puts up resistances, and he has block built in with him, you know, for his passive. So, Gankomon's always, I, I really like him. I don't use him all the time because it also depends on your team synergy. Um, and most of the times I'm using the Brave synergy just because Omega Mon's out, and that's usually what does the most damage. Talking about Brave Synergy, we got um, him. I'm not going to put him S rank. He, I don't think he's worthy of S rank. He doesn't do crazy amounts of damage. He builds up to his damage. But he's definitely good to use. He's not bad. Um, evasion, one strong hit in its main. Pretty good for Clash Battle. Um, I ranked him lower in my PvP. Yeah, PvP list. But he's pretty good here. Um, I haven't used him for PvP, but... His evasion could could be good, but you know he for PVP. But the thing with him is that you have to have more calm, and right now it's kind of like brave meta almost. But he's good for clash battles, especially if you have more calm. Like Minerva Mon, it could you know increase survivability, cut down. Like you have good support here going on. And all force, um, he's paper, but. He does a chunk of damage, and most people who have Old Force kind of have him level 10, so he's definitely, I guess, a good Digimon to use when you need a tech team. There, you have a tech team right here. Sometimes um, your opponent has power resistance, so that's good. Um, Leomon, uh, he's excellent. Um, it cuts your Brave's first move by 50%, and that's a lot. Honestly, even, like, let's just put him up here. I'm going to put him in S rank. Getting two attacks with him early on, and if you double crit, that's so good. So, basically, you have, like, a really good team here already. Like, you already have your your comms. These are good synergy together. This whole team right here is really good. This one gives crit. And then this one cuts his power. Like, his, how good Saber Leomon is, is that for him, for example, Alphamon, you use one move, it gets 25% increase. You use the other one. And by the time you could use it again, it's already at 75% right away. So that's pretty good to me. Um, you can activate his strongest move double. So it's pretty good. 
and he increases all their power so that's pretty good i think mines depending on what i go and then he lowers their opponent's defense so maybe activate his then activate his main then activate all his skills and then finally end it up with him that's pretty good um you have to build up his strength for kaiser greymon uh for me personally i don't really like that like i said i'm not a big fan of counters especially in clash but clash battle um so i'm gonna put him here uh they he do tank so if you if you need tanks they're, they're not so bad i guess um Bancho, good synergy with again all these calm digimon you could build a really good calm team for clash battle too Bancho has that really good support um better than boltmon we got Rogomon, and this is like the all-star team it, ignoring you know bonus you know digimon's like because you normally in for clash battle you want to use your the bonus as much as you can assuming they are good and they're gonna increase the damage so this is just like off the bat like i could think the best brave team that you could come up with for clash battle he sucks even though like the 25 percent heal like this is why i put him higher than him or this these guys is because 25 percent it's not that much this is higher 50 percent but it also gives you evasion it gives you crit so these do a little bit extra more something a little that just these just don't offer me personally that's how i feel um not so good this one's not so good because i guess crit can help but you know i'm not i'm not a big fan of it you know it does four t attacks of four different enemies that means his attack is weaker i wouldn't use them um slayer Dramon, again good synergy with these calm um i think a digimon some digimons are really good on their own like these two are good on their own this one can be really good on its own like it it's really good i almost want to put it s rank but something just stops me from putting it in s rank i'm just gonna put it like high end a rank none of these are in order by the way i just tend to group them together because you know it looks nice you know all calm digimons but he's pretty good he does one hit increases all your digimons crit so there's that again synergy helps a lot for clash battle so that's why i talk about these but you can splash in like do your most damage you can like him him and then just add him maybe and then him that's what i did for a while just i just like seeing the cool digimons and battle with them um this one i'm gonna put him here just because the reason he's so good in pvp was because he was deaf he's a brave killer but not all clash battles are brave so he's not gonna be the best to use there um him I'm, I'm the reason i'm not putting him down here is only because he increases hp you know what i don't know if crit will actually help you in like clash battles but yeah i don't even think getting critted is a bad thing maybe if there's a clash battle where that crits a lot then maybe but this one at least increases your hp no damage though you know i think that like i said damage is the biggest thing here uh this one it does two hits so i kind of want to put it here but i don't think it's a big deal i need to go look over for her again sorry though um but i'm just gonna put her there uh pumpkin you know see i even will give pumpkin higher because i've used them before if you guys need that block but i wouldn't recommend it i really wouldn't recommend it so this is like low tier b and only because this is free so this making it free and it gives you block kind of helps i guess uh this one i'm just gonna put it here i don't like counters like i said but he does heal when he counters hits back it gives you a little higher survivability uh this one it doesn't do much damage right now but you know it does tank cards so i will put her here um so there's that with them and let's see this one don't even use this <laughs> this one machine Dramon. i wouldn't even use them magna angelmon Magna Dramon, I think that, uh, yeah, Magna Dramon. Um, oops, sorry about that. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm gonna put him S rank. I know that I put him C rank. Maybe I'll put him higher. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? He's free. I will put him higher. Sorry, I changed my mind. But definitely, this one's way better. Uh, it offers tech resistance. It offers, um, it doesn't get sealed, so you can heal, you will revive. 
and it powers up the same as this one but it just this one's a lot more pumped up so this is definitely this is a free to play version and this is definitely a a summonable version uh hercules kabuteri he he offers some boost but he's not that great for especially for clash battle ignore these i'm not doing ultimates in this um so yeah that's pretty much how i think the meta is right now um even him i know i put him there but i'm gonna put him down here it's weird because it stretches it out so much but yeah this that's what i think about the meta um definitely he's a good digimon for that but you do have your other priorities i think focusing on summoning for pvp is not a bad idea uh usually summoning for P a character just because he's got a pve is not the best route to go but right now i think he's pretty good for pvp but who knows how the meta may change it later but thank you guys for watching hope you guys liked the video um subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye